This is Rutendo Benson Martinarare. His interview on Newsroom Africa that he did a day ago it has been wiped on all social media platforms. Care to know why? Disappeared from the Arctic Circle. Yeah, the entire lab just gone. Where did it go? I don't care. There is no explanation why it was removed on Twitter and on YouTube. I don't get it. If you don't agree with someone, does it mean that you have to remove their narrative? Yes, he was talking about SOEs and ESCOM and the state capture and he reviewed some of the things that I didn't know personally. I am not a fan of Rutendo Benson Martinara. I have to give it up to you. Though I know him is my friend, but I can't imagine having his whole interview removed. For me, it tells you one thing. They are, this is against their narrative and it even makes it worse removing it on all social media platforms when in this modern day and age where the digital footprint is everywhere. So I really think that they were caught with their pants down, Newsroom Africa here. They shouldn't have removed the interview if they felt that the narrative was too deep or was, was against their editorial policy. I don't get it. But removing the whole entire interview tells a story that we always hear that they want to push a narrative of their own which is not true. Let's disagree on ideas, but let's not shut people out. Like what we see here in Zimbabwe on our national television. Opposition leaders are not allowed to go and speak on national television, which is insane. So guys, tell me what you think about this whole issue. Though I'm not a fan of written Benson Martinari, but we disagree on ideas, which is fine. But becoming like another ZBC, for me, it's over the top trying to make censorship a priority in South Africa, which we thought was the heart of all democracy and freedom of speech. What do you make of this whole censorship? Tell me all in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you.